Okay, so today I'd like to tie uh, an Ali McCoy's lure. And the vice I've got a Kamasan B175 size 8 and that is a, I believe a 3.2 mil hothead orange fluorescent bead from Flybox. You can see that. Okay, so we're going to run on some thread. Doesn't really matter what colour. Just got some black here. Just run that down. Just make a bit of a base. Trim that off. Now I'm going to wrap some lead on mine. You don't normally put these on this pattern, but I prefer it to be a bit heavier. Because I like to fish them right right on the bottom, which I think it they work much better like that. I need to fish them really slow with a very slow figure of eight. I think it probably works best. Now this pattern was originally tied by a guy called Jock Esplin from Scotland, who unfortunately isn't with us anymore. It's a killer pattern, this. Works everywhere. It's a big still, it's a still water fly, this basically. I wouldn't necessarily use it in the river. Get this lead to lie down. Right, let's put some super glue on there. Hold it together. There we go. Right. I'm going to tie in a black marabou tail. Okay, get yourself a plume like this. You're going to get one that's got long feathers on here. The longer the better, really. Because this pattern works best with it. A long tail. The longer the tail you can get the better. Okay, so when you're doing your marabou, cut out about a half to three quarters of an inch. Like that. And two of those. This is the easiest way of doing marabou I've found. Just lay them together like that. One on top of the other. And then grab the stems. Uh, pull down the feathers, give them a twist like that, and then just trim off, trim the stems off, even that up. So that's nice and straight. Give it a twist to get them together, and get rid of any little bits. Okay, now tie these in at the end of the, the lead so it keeps the body nice and smooth. Okay, let's tie those down, tie them down well. You can even put a bit of super glue on top of this if you want. Okay, right. Now the next thing is some flasher boot. Now this is holographic flasher boot. And you see, I keep mine in this tube. It's the centre of a cling film or a foil or something like that. Something I rescued from the kitchen. So you just want, it's easy to keep it in, in there. It stops it flying around all over the place, getting all crinkled. So you want to have three strands. Just take that out. Fold it in half. Like that. So you've got six strands. So you've got six on either side. So you want to measure it so it's about the length of your tail. And tie it in 
on this side and then fold it over and tie it down the other side. I'll have to sit with my fingers together. That's clever. Okay. Let's turn that down. Right. Now just the loops you're going to have here. Just cut those loops. You don't necessarily want them all the same length because it flows much better when you've got different length flush it down. Okay, now if it's bending on you like this, don't worry about it because it soon straightens out in the water. I'll just wet that and keep it under control. There we go. Right, the next thing is some UV olive fritz. We're going to pull the ends off like that, just to bear the core. To tie the core down, and right up the way your marabou is. At the end, tie that down well because the last thing you want is your fritz coming out. You thread back behind the eye. Down, stroke the fibres back as you go forward. Pack it in well, nice and tight. You probably need six or seven turns of this. Another one in there. Tie that down. that down behind the eye. Don't do it. Trim that off. Do a whip finish. Just push it down behind the eye if it doesn't go down. Trim the thread. And then all you need to do now is put some UV varnish or some super glue just behind the bead. So set it with your UV torch. See that bead shine in there, it really stands out. And that's it, that's it finished. You can tie these in different colours, different colour fritz. I've got this one, yep, and I can get hold of it. And there's another one there, so you've got three different colours. Well, I fish all of these but this one's my favourite. This is from Flybox. This is a fantastic fritz this. It's got a gel core to it so the fibres never come out. Okay so that's it. So thanks for watching.